Lovely, lovely. Thank you, Heather. Okay, glad to be here during the Sea Shanty Festival on the Sligo Bay Lifeboat Station Facebook page. And uh, hope everyone has been enjoying the festival. And if you enjoyed it, come on down to Sligo next week because I'm sure it's going to be live here at Ross's Point. So, thanks very much. I'll start off with an American tune called Cruel Willie.
Charlie's here, Charlie's there, Charlie's cross the ocean, Charlie's 
finally, I got it hooked up. I can see the, 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 what you call these comments. Thank you all for your, for your comments, for your, for your cards and letters. Um, another song, and this is a song that uh, I learned years ago from Kenny Hall. Was a, Kenny Hall was a great mandolin player from California, and uh, he, he was an inspiration to a lot of the folk musicians back in those days. Um, and this is a song that uh, he learned from a, a, a chest-high stack of 78 records that he said he had. Uh, but it was recorded, I think, in 1927 by Fiddlin' Powers and family. And it's called, Did You Ever See the Devil, Uncle Joe? Um, where am I? how that dough is spelled. Oops. Got a little trouble. Getting this string in. Bear with me for a second. The, the dough, I don't know if it's spelled D-O-E or D-O-U-G-H. I don't think it's D-O-L-E. I don't think it's devil on the dough. Uh, but uh, it's kind of obscure and that's songs that are obscure are kind of appeal to me when the meaning isn't too clear. Sometimes it leaves it open. Get in there. To your imagination. This is okay, this is gonna work. Now
She went up the new dump road and I went down the ditches. She fell down, tore her skirt and I tore a hole in her bitches. Did you hear me singing in my standards, the wind, the wind that shakes the barley, and the mountain road.
Thank you very much. I see uh, John Ellen asking, was it the fret that was causing the problem? Well, no, it wasn't the fret. It was uh, uh, funny that, that it should happen on the song that talks about railroads. The, uh, the little kind of capo on the fifth string there is uh, what's usually done with these old time banjos is that they had used railroad spikes from model railroads. They're tiny little nails that are actually for nailing the, the, uh, the rails on uh, these miniature railroads. And these little spikes have little, little ledges on them and you slip the string under the ledge. Well, the little, the little ledge was kind of bent down so I had to bend it back up again, but she's working. So anyway, I'm gonna take this opportunity to let you all know uh, who, what the gate is in aid of, and and it's in aid of the the R and L I, the Royal National Lifeboats of Ireland, and uh, it's coming to you from the Sligo Bay Lifeboat Station, and uh, the gate is being sponsored by Lock Hill Distillery. Thank you, lads. You make a mighty fine product. Uh, so yeah, this is a. Uh, this is for all the boys in the lifeboat, and this next song, I like to dedicate it to our nephew, Mike Waters, who's part of the Sligo Bay Lifeboat Rescue Squad, and uh, he's out there, he's out there looking after all the, all the negligent surfers and fishermen and, and fishermen and uh, all the all the folks that get into trouble on the water. So we owe them a lot all the time. Thank you, all those folks. Um, this next song is a tune that I learned uh, at least 50 years ago and been playing it all this time, not knowing the name of the tune or whence it came. And it was only a couple of years ago, barely a couple of years ago, that uh, finally found out. And it was actually a tune called Metal Man, and it was written by Robin Dransfield, an English folk singer. And it's named after the, the Metal Man, the navigational aid that's right here off Ross's Point where the festival is going on, pointing out, he points out the, uh, the, the dangerous part of the, of the entrance to Sligo Bay, the rocks. And there's, there's a couple of Metal Men all cast from the same mold. And one is here in Sligo, one is down south somewhere, and I think a third one might be in somebody's backyard in Dunleary or something. But, but it's kind of funny that uh, playing the tune for all these years, and when it finally comes to see what it is, it's something that refers to right in our neighborhood. So this is Metal Man. <laughs> Thank you. 
metal band. Thank you very much. Well, uh, next is a talking about English singers. Uh, back in 1980, there was a back in 1980 there was a, a big hit from uh, Jonah Louis. It's called "Stop the Cavalry," and it's still played. You can hear it every Christmas uh, in Ireland, anyway, because it's a great song, and I really, really love the song. And uh, I uh, put together this next tune, kind of uh, inspired by the song, and uh, I call it "Home for Christmas." There's a line in, in his song saying, "Wish it was at home for Christmas." So this is called "Home for Christmas." Um, and he spent 
some time on a work gang, chain gang actually, I guess, down in Louisiana. Um, so he sang a lot of work songs from first hand. Um, and this one is one of his, it's called Looky Looky Yonder. <laughs> Regiment's Farewell to Gibraltar, uh, a noble title for a great team.
top. Once again, once again, I'd like to thank all of you for tuning in and uh, thank the, uh, the uh, Fido Bay Lifeboat Rescue folks for hosting this and for uh, Lock Hill Distillery for sponsoring it. And uh, I have to finish off with uh, one song. It's actually an appropriate song to finish with, I guess. It's a sea shanty, and it would be uh, all the sea shanties, as you, you know, are, are all they're all work songs, and this one would be for the last chore that the sailors had to do before leaving the ship after the voyage would be to pump out the bilge. So this would be a popping out shanty and uh, a lovely tune to finish off with is called Me for Johnny Lever. Thank you all, health and joy to all, and see you around.